Evil within two name drop. Look him up now. That's really funny. It's not even like a direct name drop. It's yeah. it's like a pun name drop. Damn, I am excited for Kingdom Hearts 2. It's going to blow your mind once we uh, get to it. There's more worlds. There's uh, more fun. Uh, there's more story that doesn't make sense. Hooray. Andy, thank you for introducing me to the greatest footage ever made. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so I guess I'm going back to Sid. I was, I was briefly interested in Evil Within 2, but it's, I found out it's open world, which seems a little odd for a horror game. Kind, semi-open world or something like that? I, I've heard that there are levels that are open world, but then there are levels that are linear. Oh. Uh. Was uh, the darkness the first open world horror game? The darkness? Because uh, that one had an open world like Hub World Night. I don't even remember that game to be honest. Definitely didn't play it. Uh, I wouldn't. It's definitely not the first open world horror game. Like you could argue that Haunted House for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred was like an open world horror game. True. Well, I can't afford anything, so. You know, if he really cared about you saving the world, he would just give you all the items for free. You're right. But no, he's a... They're Scrooge McDuck's nephew. What do you expect? Yeah, exactly. And he's the entrepreneuring one. Um, yeah, I think you could fly now. Yay! Leave this plan for good. Hooray! Um, oh man, all the memories we've had. You could, you could, you could link them all up, put them into some sort of chain, and break them. <laughs> <laughs> but then you could do a bit digital version, and then. Uh, if you had coding problems, you can recode it. Ooh. Is this the one I'm supposed to go into? I don't know. Can we not name John? I think that's the final battle. This this own series? No, dude, I think you're about to go into the final battle. Uh. Yeah, go back to um, Hollow Bastion. You have no idea which is Hollow Bastion, do you? Isn't it no. like far to the right? <laughs> yeah, all the way at the end. It's at the very end. Oh! Okay, so no, you have do have to go through that portal again. Oh, sh oh, this is like one of the worst parts of the game. I forgot about this. Yeah, you have to go... So yeah, do go through that portal. This one? Andy. Yeah, do go through that again. And you have to pretty much fight your way through Hollow Bastion again. <laughs> yeah. But you get the Oblivion Sword, which is really powerful. I'm glad that they're uh, letting you do that again, because Hollow Bastion is definitely my favorite part of the series. <laughs> oh, for sure. I like the part where we uh, beat Maleficent in one try. Um, <laughs> and we <laughs> fell up and down and got lost. and uh, For three hours? Yeah, you know. Go through that. I'm doing it. Andy, go through. I'm, I'm fucking doing it, man. Andy. Whoa! I, I did it already. <laughs> that screen just tilted. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, there's... Oh, shit. <laughs> what are those things? I still <laughs> don't know how to even describe them. <laughs> my favorite bit is that how you... Sh you you aim and move with the same control. Yeah. Definitely the pinnacle of sci-fi. 
Hello. He's not. He didn't come to the. Night. And he didn't close the door all the way. Perfect. Is that your father asking what job? Yeah. I don't know why I said the last name. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna put this part in anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Like, what? What do we have to talk about, really? We could say everything, anything at this section. And he, you so know, let's I talk also... about those minorities. <laughs> <laughs> I also link his Twitter in the descriptions of the videos, and his Twitter is just his name. Yeah. So he's, I think he's okay with I'm it. I'm pretty sure we're pretty open about our identities. My Twitter handle is, is almost exactly my name. Oh no, I keep my shit secret. I don't want you linking me to my... For affinity counts? My drunk tangents descri describing the lore of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I was, uh, I... I, I stumbled upon my old Rooster Teeth count account yesterday. I was just, like, reading through my old journals. And, like... I have some... I said some pretty terrible things in those. So what would old Andy think about the Jews? <laughs> I, I, I actually, like, have a, a, a journal where I said Jewtube. Oh, Jewtube no. is a real thing, though. Yeah, I know. What? Yeah, it's literally YouTube, but for Hebrew content. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I just pictured Hebrew Pewdie PewDiePie. <laughs> like it's like curls. all the YouTube content's the same. It's just everyone's got like the, the like the curly sideburns and. <laughs> <laughs> it's, they're all just really badly like motion tracked on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I I was surprised too when I found out about YouTube. I don't know if it still exists. That feels like a copyright infringement thing, right? Or, or no? Maybe they don't care. Uh, yeah, maybe. I guess there's RedTube, which but RedTube isn't. A, it's not like a that close. It's not like, as like, close as YouTube is. <laughs> you could reasonably like. I think you could reasonably say that somebody could mistake YouTube for YouTube. Speaking of, uh, I don't know if you guys have watched, uh, what is it, Nathan for You? You know what that is? Nope. It's like a, no. it was like a Comedy Central show, uh, where this, like, kind of awkward guy would, like, try and, like, help people's businesses and whatnot. Uh, I don't know if it's still running or not. I've only, like, seen clips of it, but it, it, it uses real people, like, a lot of the time. So it's it's kind of cringe it's kind of cringe humor, but one of the things that they ended up doing was he went to this guy's coffee shop and he's like, you know what, you should just make this literally exactly like a Starbucks. And the guy's like, can't we can't do that, can we? He's like, well, here's the thing: if you parodied Starbucks, you could make it Starbucks. And so he. You could, he so he's like so all you have to do is you just you got to criticize it, so we're, we'll call it stupid Starbucks, and you can serve <laughs> stupid Grandes. Oh, I heard about that. And like, and then they, I well at first it was like a joke, but then I think a performance artist actually opened up stupid Starbucks for like a yeah. week, and like, and then they got in big trouble. Well, yeah, well it was a it was but it was for a week. They were, like, doing it as a performance art thing. <laughs> Imagine having that much money where you could just open up a store as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> or, no, I'm sorry, open up as art. Yeah. It was it was really funny that what he was describing is, like, but we want people to think it's a Starbucks, so we'll make the word stupid, like, really tiny. It's, like, in the corner. <laughs> 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 That's what they did in the performance art too. It's and like everything, everything just had stupid attached to it. It was literally the same though. <laughs> That's pretty stupid. Yeah, uh, I'm sure. I'm like, I'm sure they got in trouble for it, but whatever. Yeah, screw it. It's just what we were talking about infringement, whatnot. 
Copyright infringement. Mm-hmm. <laughs>